All right, now we're going to talk about focus, this terrible, nasty word that was invented by somebody who obviously was never a singer, never had a career, never sang over big orchestras and big theaters without a sound enhancement system. Focusing the voice, as it's done now, simply means to make the voice very, very narrow. When Franco Corelli did his master classes in New York, he hated the way the American singers were singing. He said, everyone is singing too narrow, too small. He said, everybody's singing like a singer through the straw. The, the voice goes squish, squish, squish. They make everything narrow and thin, and they vocalize on me, 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 So if you get the voice up in there, you have no sound whatsoever. Voice is completely in the nose, and the pillars of the foces are closed like this, the arch in the back of your throat. It narrows and goes like this, and the whole voice starts going out like that. Well, then to make it sound good and give it some color, what do they do? Then they lift the soft palate. So you go, nye, 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 and they try to get some kind of sound that's totally artificial. Then maybe you, you put a cup in your tongue and go, oh, or you make a ski slope. Ah. It's like these, these are concepts that were invented by people who never were singers. If you were a singer, you would never do anything like any of those. You'd never make your voice small. Does anyone have any idea what it means to get up and sing over a 130-piece orchestra? I've done it many times. I sang Wagner and Verdi. I mean, I'm telling you, you get up and you sing these monster parts. Uh, Meister singer, uh, the Meister singer von Nuremberg is five and a half hours long. You think you're going to push for five and a half hours to a 130-piece orchestra and go, there's no way. And here is one of my favorite little examples. How does this work? If you ask anyone, ask a child, he would never put it this way and expect his voice to focus through this little hole at the end. Ah, how is this thing supposed to work? It works this way. Ah, so this thing goes down your throat like this. When you breathe, you breathe vertically. It's like you create your own megaphone and the front of the megaphone is like this. Ah, oh, and way down at the bottom, it goes down that tube and goes all the way to your diaphragm. And the last thing you want to do is bring sound up and then make it go narrow. And there's several ways to go narrow. One is just to put it in your nose and close the pillars of the foces and go, ah. Another one is to bring the jaw down. Ah, ah, ah. And when you do that, it makes the voice narrower this way. It makes it narrow without closing the pillars of the fossae. So the sound is usually better. But then you watch something like a silent movie of Caruso, who had the greatest voice in history. And in that silent movie, he's doing Vesti la Juba from Pagliacci. And his mouth is this shape the entire time. And you see him going. Those, those of you who know the words and know the text can literally watch his, his tongue and see how he is pronouncing the words like this. And there's none of this, ever. In fact, in his silent movie, My Cousin, at one point he, he, he pretends to be the cousin who's not a singer. But the cousin is asked to sing, so he tries to sing. And Caruso's way of showing how to sing wrong, how to sing badly, is to pull your jaw down. So his, 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 the, 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 the young man who's an artist, who's pretending he's Caruso's cousin, sings like this. So that's Caruso's way of showing how to sing wrong. He said in his book, never sing into the nasal cavity. So, those are all wrong. They narrow the throat. They narrow the pillars of the foces. They put the voice in the nose and they create action in the throat. So why would we turn our megaphone around and use it backwards? Is this really going to be a better sound? Some would say, oh, yes, you've got to sing very, very narrow to get your diction. Well, can you understand me better this way? Or can you understand me better this way? Very simple. Just remember, keep one of these in mind. And everybody, some, every time somebody says to you, focus, focus, you know they don't know what they're talking about. They're certainly not someone who's sung over huge orchestras and sung big roles in big theaters. Now, how do we get that sound? That is, first of all, what does focus mean? 
Folk are used to me, don't sing breathy. They ask Adilina Napati, what do you think about when you sing? And she said, don't sing breathy. That's all they said. They asked Mattia Battistini, what do you think about when you sing? And he said, I press my chest. No one ever used the word focus in the history of great singing. Focus is a word that's come along with, that's been invented by people who simply never sang. They've never been singers. So if I sing in my nose, I can sing. Uh, but why would I want to do that? Why wouldn't I, why wouldn't I use my megaphone and take a breath and go, Why would I close it up and go, Why would I do that? If I came up to you and talked to you and said, Hi, how are you? What's your name? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? It's a true name. So if singers would just think about comparing the way they sing and the way other people sing to normal speech patterns, right? If you sing Italian and you say, Catari, per che mi dice queste parole amare? Am I really going to say, Per come dice qui parole amare? Per che mi dice queste parole amare? Have you ever heard an Italian talk like that? Ever. How does babies cry? Babies go, ah, 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 ah. I've had four of them, so I have an idea, right? Pavarotti had three, and he said he learned to sing by watching his babies. Pavarotti didn't do this. Watch his mouth when he sings. Watch the angle of his head. The head is up and back like this. Usually lean forward. And he sings in a very typical lateral uh, way of, of pronouncing. And in the, uh, in, in the book by Dr. Marafiotti, where Caruso demonstrates how to pronounce the vowels, uh, he demonstrates all of them with the corners of his mouth back. For instance. So, there's no reason to try to focus whatever that means. You don't want to make the voice narrow or thin, you don't want the voice to be in the nose. You don't want to make an action in the throat, which means closing the pillars of the foces, right? Uh, they have these, uh, these necktie tenors. Some of them write books. They write endless books about singing, but they can't, when they get up to sing, they go, ah, 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 and they have no sound. Nobody goes, ah, 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 I'm feeling fine. How are you today? It's got to be, I'm feeling fine. How are you today? Ah, ah, ah. Why? Or I did fine. How are you today? Why do we have to have all of this activity from the neck up? All you have to do is use speech patterns and say a e i o u, both Lamperti and uh, both Lampertis, father and son, and Manuel Garcia the second said that the mouth should never open wider than the width of one finger in the middle voice and two fingers. In the upper voice. Tetrasinia said to smile all the time when you sing. Caruso said to smile and keep the corners of your mouth well open, he said. Keep your mouth well open at the sides. Helga Rosvanger said he just smiled all the time. Nikolai Geta smiled so exaggeratedly that they asked him why, and he said, what do you mean I'm smiling? He said, I'm opening my throat. And remember Lamperti's description of the open throat in the Italian school was that the throat is the same shape as the aval in the Italian word S-T-A-I, stai. So basically you have two Italian as. Come sta in the polite form and come stai in the familiar form. And he said to use the one in stai. A, E, I, O, U. And I sang everything like that. See? Parigi. Why do I need to be wider and bigger? Why would I do all of that? Why not just, hi, how are you today? <laughs> there it is. Right? That's the cafe. Ah. You can speak very, very clearly, very distinctly. The breath sits up here against the lower chest. Ha, 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 like I'm doing staccatos. Ha, 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 ha. Guardi fumare de mille. And everything is free up here without being made narrow or being made vertical. All right? Thank you. That should, that should at least make you think a little bit 
about this notorious word, focus.